Welcome everyone, this is the fifth episode of Shot for Shot and a fresh start to the 2021 golf season here in Canada and today I'm playing the front nine at Royal Ontario Golf Club. This is a really fun course within the rolling countryside of Milton, Ontario and the course offers a wide variety of play styles with multiple decision making strategies. The tees range from 5,225 to just over 7,000 and Royal Ontario was ranked a top 10 new course in Ontario in 2003. Let's get right into it and I hope you guys uh, like this round. So we got our first hole here, dog leg right 375 yards. I'm using my four iron off the tee. And I tried draw, uh, fading it a bit, but obviously it didn't work out too well. I overfaded it and I ended up in the, uh, in the bushes there. So I ended up punching it out just outside of the fescue here and I made another shot out, but I ended up missing that recording. So we ended up by the 100 mark and now we're going for uh, a birdie of four from 100 yards out. Uh, hit it decently, but ended up in the bunker at the back of the green. So now we're just trying to chip out of the bunker to try to save uh, for double bogey here. Connected okay. Um, had a nice little spin on it, but I have a bit of a, a longer putt for, for double bogey. And come out swinging. That's a good start to my putting. Um, and we're off to the second hole, par 3, 143 yards with my 8 iron. Make a really nice strike here. I was happy with this one. Uh, ended up on the green, probably about 20 feet away from the pin or so. And we're already putting for birdie. So we have a bit of a left to right slope here on the green. And I hit it a little too firm. Um, a little bit too far of a lag putt, I guess we can say. And uh, come away with a nasty three putt already on the second hole. So we're at three over after two, but hopefully we can make something happen here. So third hole, par five, 482 yards, using my four iron off the tee and make a decent shot. I'm blocking my shots a bit, I'm kind of leaving my weight in the back of my right foot and not turning over. So I'm, I'm fading a lot today. Um, but I played an iron that was just going to be short of this bunker on purpose, actually. So I was one strategy that I did right, right. Uh, connect okay here, but I, once again, I pushed it and I get really lucky. I'm on just on the right side of the cart path here and I just see my ball. So now I'm just trying to use a wedge to get over this little bush that's in front of me. 130 yards out and I end up actually sculling it a bit and it ends up in a green side bunker so i got away with one there so now we're hitting for birdie make a little sand shot here but come up short so now we're chipping for par a little bit of a downhill slope and misaligned this chip it was good weight but carl's waving high over there um, so now we're putting for bogey, a little bit of a, a, a left to right and missed that putt. And so we ended up walking away with a double bogey. All right. So the fourth hole here, pretty straight and narrow. You don't want to miss on the right. It's out of bounds. Um, so I was aiming a bit left and overcompensated for the, uh, for, for the out of bounds on the right and ended up coming up pretty far left, but I have a shot at the green here, 155 yards, eight iron. And connect pretty well. I was actually happy with this one. Um, I believe we're on the right side of the green here, pretty decently far from the hole, but at least we're, we're putting for a chance at birdie. Make a really nice stroke, brand new putter actually. So pretty happy with that. And oh, come up right on the edge. So we walked away with a par. So par four, 230 yards. This is a big dog leg right. So I'm aiming for the red stake, which is about 130 yards and make a great shot. Uh, too bad that wasn't the pin because I'd be pretty close to that thing. So now we're about 100 yards away, 
I'm using my uh, my 48 degree pitching wedge and kind of just aiming to the left side of that the pin there because I know my ball was uh, my ball flight today was fading a little bit so uh, came up really good gave myself a great chance for birdie here. And just missed to the right. Can't be mad at a par, but I really wanted that birdie there. All right, so we have another dog leg. Uh, dog leg left. Uh, so I'm using my three wood. This hole's about 385, so I kind of want to get to the 250 mark. And I strike the ball decent, but my 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 slice or my fade is really um, taking over right now. So I ended up losing this ball, so I had to drop below the trees here. Um, and use my nine iron. I really pulled it here. I, I didn't hit it that great, but somehow my ball ended up staying in play. It ended up being on the, uh, that drain right there. So I just had to kick it to the side. So now we're chipping for par. And make a really nice chip here. I was pretty happy with this one. My my wedge game, my putting, my putting's okay, but my uh, 130 yards in today was really good, so I was pretty pretty stoked about that for the first uh, first round of the year. So par four, 322. I'm using my six iron to try to aim for the 100 or so, or 130, uh, and connect it really well. I was lying pretty nicely in the fairway here with a nice approach to the to the green. So. 99 yards out, pitching wedge. And connected well. I actually hit it a little too too well. It carried the green a little bit, but nothing crazy. But this green, you don't want to be on the top side where uh, this lady is standing on my right here. You don't want to be up there. There's a giant ridge, so I'm just trying to hit this enough to get over the ridge and... It just gets held up there, unfortunately. And this is going to be a pretty tough putt here for par. And a pretty large slope from the right to the left here. and uh, But I just smoked it. I hit it way too hard. And now I have a very challenging bogey putt, which I'm not too pleased about. Walked away with bogeys for plus 724 yards using my pitching wedge. Um, hit this one really good. So it actually lands on the green. You can't see it here because that bush is blocking it. It landed right on the right edge of the green and actually spun backwards, spun off the green a bit. But we have a really good chance at birdie nonetheless. And um, we pushed the putt or misread it, one of the two. So now we're just putting here for par. And we come away with par. So now we're on the ninth hole. Uh, this is a pretty interesting hole. So there's multiple landing areas, multiple ways to play this. I ended up going with the shorter approach using my five iron to try to uh, land in the fairway. Missed it a bit to the right. But now we have a chance to kind of lay up again before the green, before that river, and just over this pond. So using a seven iron. And I actually made a really nice shot here. I was happy with this one. So now we're lying to um, about 130 yards here to the pin uphill slightly. So I'm using my pitching wedge, and this is a full shot for me. And hit it really clean. I was uh, I was happy with this. I thought I was going to be right beside the pin. I actually went a bit long, which was surprising to me. And ended up carrying the green a bit. But now we just have a little, uh, a little chip, bump and run chip here for, for birdie. And made a nice chip, a little bump and run, just a couple feet away from the pin here. Uh, now we're going for par. And we're probably only like three feet away here for par, plus seven. And a terrible way to end it. Ended up bogeying it. Plus eight to end it, so that's a 44. And so guys, please, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. We got a lot more coming. Cheers.